Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'll be sharing with you is how you can transfer files from Windows machine to a Linux machine and vice versa. All these can be done in the Windows machine using PowerShell. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, this is the file that I want to transfer for today. So first, what you can do is you go to here, then click on type alternate D, then CMD. As you can see here, it will open the CMD on the location that you have specified. So first, I will make it into a PowerShell. So what exactly is PowerShell? Basically, PowerShell is a more advanced version of CMD, which is uh, the terminal. As you can see here, this is the, C the command prompt. So it's not only an interface, but also a scripting language, which allows you to carry out administrative tasks more easily. So you can also create a, a script to actually automate your task using PowerShell. So first up, what I want to do is to transfer a file from the Windows machine to the Linux remote server. So now what I want to do is I go back to this. So what I want to do now is basically upload the file and then to this location and then interact with this uh, script upload.php. And this is the file that we want to transfer, which is Windows file.txt. So let's take a look at the, what is the upload.php file. So we go to this uh, location first. So this is our web server default folder. As you can see down, there's a upload.php. So let's take a look. So now this is the PHP script that we want to interact with. So what this does is that over here, the, this variable here, it specify this uh, directory, which is uh, where we want to put our files in. So this upload folder. So this, the other one is the upload folder, which consists of the directory and the file name. Okay. So basically we want to move this file into here which consists of the directory with the file name. Okay, so I just put exit. Then let's go back to our Windows machine. So once you are done, once you're happy with this, you just click enter. And let's go back here. Go back to our Linux machine to see whether has it been downloaded successfully. So if you go up one more, you see there's uploads folder. So you go into uploads folder. And there you go. The Windows file.txt is here. So this is a Windows file. So what about transferring files from the Linux remote server to the Windows machine. Okay, so let's go back here to our Kali machine. So if you put this, so this is the file that we want to transfer over from the, the Linux machine to the Windows machine. So let's go back to our Windows machine. So this is the command that we're going to use. So as you can see here, this is the file that's located at the web server. So this is where we want to uh, transfer over to our Windows machine. So we make it, we can make it to the same file name. So Kali file.txt. So just click enter. So as you can see here, now it has appeared on our Windows desktop. So double click on it. As you can see, this is a Kali file. So as you can see, this is a very easy way for you to transfer file from a Linux to Windows and Windows to Linux. Or can be done using PowerShell in the Windows machine. So I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you. If you like this video, I appreciate you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.